Shepherds by J.D. Brumbaugh. Hi, I'm Jay Drew. I write novels, science fiction novels, fantasy novels, action adventure novels. One of my novels, Shepherds, is going to be on sale. It's my highest rated book at this time. It's a science fiction story about Olga and Toivo. Olga is a shepherd or a genetically engineered person who lives in the middle of the ocean and herds tuna with the help of some dolphins. Toivo is a Finnish fisherman who tries to make a living catching tuna with the help of two dolphins he can speak to. Things go bad for Toivo when he finds a murdered shepherd and now the murderers are out to kill him as the only witness. When the fates bring Olga and Toivo together they have to outwit the killers in order to stay alive. I'd like to read from the book a little bit for you, but before I do that, I would like to show you my office where I do all my writing. There's the computer, notes for other books, um, books that I've written, some of my inspiration. And now I would like to read a couple of excerpts from the book. First, I'd like to introduce you to Olga and then to Toivo. Olga belonged to the sea. It owned her as surely as solid ground owned the rest of humanity. On land, the lubbers ridiculed her and called her an abomination, an ugly thing born in a devil's laboratory. But here, swimming in the vast Pacific, her body was beautiful with a grace no lubber could match. She drifted along peacefully, cradled by the warm water. The rocking caress of the gentle swells brought a sense of comfort, of belonging, of home. She pulled hard, breaststroking with webbed hands, and shot ahead, rolling over on her back to look up at the dark vault of the night sky. Off to the east, the pre-dawn glow hung at the horizon so that overhead, only the brightest stars were still visible in the gray that preceded sunrise. She glided backward through the tranquil swells, listening to the dolphins blow and dive as somewhere ahead they circled the tuna herd like sheepdogs. Twenty meters behind her, she could see the red, green, and white running lights of the submersible raft homestead cruising on autopilot. Olga rolled and dived under the surface, took a couple of powerful strokes, and resurfaced fifty meters from homestead. Off to the east, the huge gold-rimmed tropical sun pulled its way upward out of the Pacific. Olga rolled on her back and let the brilliant glow of sunrise wash over her tanned body. She floated for a while, motionless. The rhythm of the long swell seeped into her existence like the beat of a life greater than herself. Swimming free in the open ocean was what she had been born to do. And now a little about Toibo. The ship's engines thumped rhythmically, and Toivo Nurmanen felt the vibration through the soles of his rubber boots. He stood on a square metal platform that hung over the side near the bow. The platform was surrounded by a waist-high railing and suspended by thick steel cables that led up on deck through a set of pulleys to a dual deck-mounted winches that could raise or lower it to water level. Toivo had had it fabricated so he could be closer to his dolphins. The platform now hung over the side, barely above the water, and Toivo leaned against the railing to steady himself. His ship, Sisu, was over 70 meters long and barely rose as the shallow waves swirled against the bow, the thin white foam trailing off to the sides in long Vs. A light breeze tickled his scalp through his short brown hair. The azure sea rippled off to the horizon and joined the blue, cloudless sky forming a continuous vault of color. Ahead of the boat, a dolphin pair rode the bow wave. Intermittently, one slipped beneath the surface to send sonar pulses exploring the waters around them. Toivo watched the dolphins working as a team. He listened to their squeaks, clicks, and whistles, hoping they would locate fish. Poika, he called, whistling on the inhale to get the right sound and folding his tongue almost double to form the clicks in the back of his throat. Where are the fish? 
No tuna, answered the larger dolphin as he swept, slipped under the next wave. I hope you can enjoy the book. Shepherds is available at Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, at iTunes, at Kobo, and several places internationally as an ebook. It's also available as a print version at just about any bookstore. Thank <laughs> you.